Yeah. You know. Okay. Not bad, actually. Excellent. Yeah, okay. We're here for a tune up, right? Maintenance? Yeah. Basically. Okay. I'm going to take a look, make sure nothing changed since I've been here, and then grab my tools. How's everything else been good, though? I'm bidding well, no complaints. I think your circulator's making that noise, huh? Well, this thing makes a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah there's you said that the other time. Yeah, but the little pieces of foam there work, work well, no? Yeah, it was working. Yeah. And I, I won't. While, I know. And 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 I'm stuff. never gonna replace this until it's dead, because it still uses mercury. And the new ones don't use mercury. Mercury is better. Well, it's it's more precise. You know, it's. But it's also like a carcinogen and hazardous to the environment. And yeah. yeah but yeah, I yeah. I love to play with it though. You know, <laughs> if they let yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a jar in the kitchen so I could look at it. Like recycling, they take metal and got a special one. Yep. Let's see. So, this zone is there, is going to here, which goes up to there. This is the steam thermostat. And the other one. It's strange about what? It runs out of water. You know, it's not the. Automatic fill. Correct. I, I never, I never read this before. It's some kind of got something to do with that. But, uh, that is the 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 warning label, and it says actually remove the label. Yeah, it does say that. <laughs> it says remove this label, <laughs> <laughs> but it tells you um, like that if you add an automatic water it. feeder to use the hydro level low water uh, automatic water feeder, because I believe that one has the built-in clock or water meter uh, to, for the gallons. Yeah, we had this for a long time. Yeah, no, it's a great boiler. It's a great boiler. All right, let well, me get yeah, some... It stops. Well, it used to be like it drained all the way down and it would stop. But okay. It seems to be stopping more or less when it gets about there. But uh, it's dirty on the when bottom. When you fill it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, no, well, it's, it runs out of water. As if it's around. How often is that? It depends on how hard it's working. Like once a month? More often. Once a week? Well, in, in the coldest weather, yeah. Yeah, okay. But that's been she, going she, down that way she, for years, though. She stopped wanting it to be like freezing up, up there. Like so now she wants some warmth, huh? Well, a little bit, yeah. She once in a while complain it's cold. Can okay, we close this valve? This could be the coldest. And let me close the other one. I want to drain some of the water. Yeah, yeah. There is the other one. Okay. Other one? No, you got one right here. Well, I just want the low water cutoff to come on. I'm going to drain until our light comes on the low water cutoff, and then we'll do the rest. Yeah, if you can estimate, how many bottles of water do you have here? <laughs> Not as many as when I returned. Oh, there we go. Nope. Not yet. And they give you five cents now, or is it ten cents? Did some say it's ten cents. Did you hear about if I drive to Maine? Did you hear about that that family that was like from the, the southwest, where they it was a multi million dollar they they claimed a multi million dollar fraud, right? They would take the cans that they acquired in one state. And brought them across the line and got 10 cents for them. And they, they actually arrested them for fraud, felony fraud. So there's our yellow light. But I just think that's that's slick. That's that's not fraud. No, if if if, so. if it's if it's worth five cents in one state and ten cents another, <laughs> why not? Well, right. mean, it would be a bit of a you know inconvenience. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is how you develop and strengthen relationships with your clients. It's a known fact. It's psychological, but people are more content doing business with people they're comfortable with. Keep that in mind. All right, I got the front cover removed off this 175,000 BTU Burnham SIN6 when a manufacturer date of March 2004. Standing pilot gas valve here, the VR8200. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine burners. Let's take a step down and take a look at our combustion chamber. A little bit of debris down there, but nothing crazy. All right. The power's off. Mucho caliente. Manageable now to, to touch. Yeah, I got a little bit of uh, white residue built up on the burners, mm. but not, not terrible. Yeah, I'm just uh, checking it out. It's it's pretty solid. It's got a small, small crest or a small peak of orange at times, but it is a nice, it's a nice pilot flame. Very, very nice. We'll take out the main, that burner in the pilot assembly. Loosen up the thermal couple and the gas tubing. Yeah. Disconnect this and pile it, and it went out instantly. I want to take out that burner and make sure she's she's cleaned as well. This goes there like that. And let's take that burner out. There it is. Okay. Let's get our wire brush and clean these. Oh, yeah? Yeah, then you get old. Or as they say, to be politically correct, more mature. God bless you. I'm sure the time does fly. No, oh, the towel was in the way. Okay. And last but not least. What's that? I think we're kind of like uh, setting our way. I hear you. We had one. You had one? Yeah, we did have one that she could uh, live with. But I don't know what happened. That didn't work out too too long? Well, yeah, for a number of years. Like four hours. Uh, and it sucked two days a week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's when I was going out with the truck, though. So I needed to get the house. Yeah. Spot for me. out the combustion chamber. All right, nice and clean. Right, let's take a close look at that thermal couple tip and it's slightly swollen right there on the top. Now I've never changed the thermal couple on this system from 2004. Yeah, so we're gonna change that out now because It'd be annoying to come yeah, back like here it, just to change the thermal couple. Surgery and uh, it's the first time you ever did it. This yeah, but so see, it's there. You go. It's a I good view. I don't want to be the one laying there. Yeah, you don't want to be there. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, so let's change that out. But it unthreads right from the bottom of the 
Oh, let's not lose that little piece. Get you in right there. Let it go in there. And then the red in that nut holding it in. Perfect. Now the fun part. That goes in there just like that, but we are in the wrong one. Four across from the right. Four across from the right. Perfect, because it's a little bit wider here. That accommodates that separation on the gas manifold. All right, all the burners are back in. New thermocouples in place. Made everything, try to clean up as much as we possibly can. We're gonna take our gas control valve and that black knob is gonna go to pilot. We're gonna push down the red plunger with ease. That allows the gas to flow through the silver tubing, which is the pilot burner tubing. Go to there, we're gonna light our pilot. Okay. Put that down. Hold that down for about 30 seconds. All right. Excellent. Put that back to on. Let's put our door back into place. So for many, many years, the biggest thing with barbecue lighters, especially one with the flex flexible goosenecks, they break. Right. They're, they're not sitting in your desk. They're usually crap. Uh, well, that too. But they're not sitting in your kitchen cabinet, you know, drawer where you need it to light the light the flame on the on the on the stove or the barbecue. It sits in your tool bag and it's getting used every single day and it breaks. This thing, Amazon, like twenty bucks, plugs into USB C, wow. and it gives you a like a little electrode little flame there yeah, yeah, and it cu yeah. it'll cut through paper and light paper and it'll light candles i don't know if it'll light a cigar because it's kind of small but right. um and it's, it's pretty not, cool it's better not to smoke anyway yeah no you're correct correct absolutely correct all right so our water level's down there a little dirty huh yeah maybe i don't know if you have to clean the bottom would you like me to clean it let's clean it i, don't, I opened it one time and didn't want to come out tube didn't want to come out well let's clean out yeah, this, you trouble, this it. no no trouble at all yeah, you have a sink down here right all right let's get some water here and yeah the top part of the glass is cracked but it is be... Ooh, no. it is below the uh i mean above the the washer the rubber washer there so it's not gonna affect anything there but if it is a little pipe cleaner. If not, I can use the, the uh, one of the brushes that are right here. All right, and that's gonna go there and go down there. You know, I think we changed these nuts out for you a couple years ago. Yeah, I think so. You might have changed the whole thing. Yeah. And, um, maybe I broke it the other time, too. I don't remember. Well, it needed that. to be changed. Yeah, maybe. All right, we'll tighten this up, and hopefully we'll be okay. Upper valve and the lower valve. Good. All right, now. Let's add some water back. It's about five eighths full. I changed the washer in that thing on the bottom. Where? This, there? No, this one. On this? Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Packing yeah. nut? Excuse me, yeah. No, it's just a washer. Okay. Oh, you feed with cold water, huh? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. It's just feed with cold water. Yeah, I should feel it with hot, but it is what it is. Yeah. Be, be careful, like, you know, filling the boiler when it's, like, hot, hot. Uh -huh. You'll thermally shock it. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Okay, let's. Uh, would you like me to check the pigtail and the pressure troll? Nah, it's okay, Mike. Okay.
All right, so let's. Yeah, so let's. No, hold on. Oh, I close. No, sorry. Let's open up the hydronic valve on the left side, and on the right side. Turn the power back on, and then we'll fire up our combustion analyzer and do a combustion test. Let's get you in right there and do a combustion analysis. Let that sit for about seven minutes. All right, let's clipboard these results. Take out our probe. And let's do draft measurement next.